One of the great joys of having a booktube channel is making negative book reviews or anti-recommendations. Um, and if there is a book that needs one of these videos, is that is uh, The Changeling by Victor Laval or Lavalli or whatever, this book... <laughs> How can I talk about this book without sounding disrespectful? I just won't. I won't care, really, because this book is disrespectful to the reader. I think this book is idiotic. I think it's stupid. I think it was written for like a stupid audience. I'm sorry if you like this book. What are you thinking? Like, who are you? <laughs> but this book got published. I mean, okay. I never thought I would live to see an actual pandemic, but now it happened. And now I've also seen this book being published and I read it. So my expectations are just like, yeah, uh, I, clearly you can see I am completely out of sorts, out of words. I cannot really <laughs> find the words to make this video. So, okay. The whole point to this short video is for me to tell you, do not read this book. Stay clear, stay away from this book. The Changeling by Victor Laval. I don't know what he was thinking. I don't know what he was on. I don't know what he was doing. I don't know how this book got published. There's no editing here. And if there was, who was the editor for this? Like. Seriously, someone wrote this book and it got published and now I read it. What? What the hell? This book, let me tell you, this book actually started out really well. I was incredibly interested. I thought it was going to be really, really fun, um, like a dark fairy tale retelling of sorts. I wasn't really sure what I was getting into, but I was certainly interested. The, the, the beginning was so good, I actually started recommending it to Leo from A Little Book Life. And I was like, yeah, this sounds like really very interesting. And yeah, I don't know where this is going. It sounds so interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know what, what, what this book was going to do. <sighs> it was ridiculously bad. It's... If you look up uh, hot garbage, hot, a hot mess on the dictionary, you will you will get uh, a, this book will will pop up um, uh, as a clear definition. This book is hot, hot garbage. There are no redeeming qualities to this book whatsoever. Maybe some of the writing at the beginning, maybe some of the the way that the author starts telling you the story of some of these characters, but everything goes bonkers in a, in a really bad way because, you know, I love weird stuff, bonkers stuff, uh, you know, things that feel unique, that feel just out there. I love when authors take chances and go in weird, different directions and, and subvert your expectations. This is clearly not that. I want to emphasize this is not the good, weird, bonkers kind of thing. This is the worst kind of bonkers shit out there. Um, the, the, the writing is okay. I mean, it's, you know, we're not dealing with good writing. I mean, it's not Donna Tart. <laughs> um, but, you know, the writing is fine. Um, Reading this book was very frustrating also because there's like a stop and go kind of motion or rhythm to it. Uh, sometimes Victor Laval uh, writes in like a th like a thriller way, you know, like very dialogue driven and short sentences that make you want to keep reading. There's cliffhangers on every fucking chapter. Oh my God, just stop it with your stupid, ridiculous little lines of, of cliffhanger at the end of a, of a chapter. God, it was so infuriating. It was so like deceitful um, and, and gimmicky and, and, and for no reason, because there really are no surprises here. There are just weird uh, roll your eyes kind of moments and it's just ridiculous. So anyway, I don't want to keep 
keep on trashing about this book. Just, I just really, really need to tell you, this book is idiotic. It's, I think it was written for, for, for an audience who will not even think about what they're reading. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe Victor Laval wrote this thinking that people would just not really read it. Like they would just, <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. That's how bad this book is. It discombobulated me. It confounded me. It messed my brain in, in, the, in a bad way. Like I, I felt stupid reading this book. I felt cheated. I feel I felt robbed of my dignity as a reader. This book is ridiculously bad. It's hot garbage. Stay away from this book.